Hi, Nicole Young here with a quick two minute tip on how to add film grain in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start over in the layers panel. I'm gonna add a brand new layer and I wanna fill this with 50% gray and the easiest way to do that is to go shift delete on my keyboard, it's shift backspace if you have a PC and then using this drop down, just select 50% gray and click okay. Next, I'm gonna go over to the blend mode on this layer. I'm gonna change it to overlay. Now you could either use overlay or soft light. What these blend modes do is they take anything that's 50% gray and basically just make it invisible. So even though this layer is selected and it's visible, we can't see anything because the blend mode is just making it pretty much pass right through to the background layer. The next thing we're gonna do is go up to filter, noise, add noise. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to about 100% so we can actually see what we're doing. And I have it already pretty much set where I want it. Uh, we wanna make sure that monochromatic is checked because if it's not, we get these little colorful pixels. So make sure you check that. I prefer uniform for the distribution. And then, you know, just play around with your settings and, you know, just see what you actually like as far as the amount of grain. And then click okay when you're done. And that's pretty much it. That's 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 all there is to it. And you know, let me go back and actually, if you wanted to try the soft light blend mode, you get just a little bit, not as harsh of a grain. And then you could, you know, of course, play with your opacity settings and drop that down if you want it a little less dramatic. Now, if you have Photoshop CS5, there's actually another way that you can do this, but it's using Camera Raw. So I'm going to close out of this, and then open the photo in Camera Raw. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here so we can actually see the changes we're gonna make. And if you go over to the FX panel, there's this new feature called grain. So once you start dragging the slider over to the right, you get these other options, size and roughness. Pretty self-explanatory, especially when you actually start using them. If I were to go like extremely dramatic, you know, we can see the amount of grain that we're adding there, the size, and then the roughness of the grain. So this is just a fun new feature in CS5 that gives you a lot more control over the film grain in your image.